Today, we're exploring our new home, Dordrecht. We moved here just a few days ago, and the goal for today is to really see Dordrecht. We'll head to the city market to look for something that's very important to us, visit some of the many historic monuments, and try some delicious sweets that can only be found here. And another big thing on our minds is, will we actually be happy here? Good morning, Bun Fam. Per usual, we're starting our day with coffee. We are at Hazel Coffee, which is really close to the city center here in Dordrecht. And it's a small cafe that specializes in coffee, but also baked items. We got a couple of sandwiches. Alex got the old cheese and tapenade, and then I got white bean and mushroom. Let's talk a little bit about Dordrecht. Dordrecht is the fifth largest city in South Holland, just after Den Haag, Zotemeer, Leiden, and Rotterdam. Also, it's at the intersection of like five different rivers, so it made it a massive trade city starting in the 12th century. The last time we were here, we saw a ton of awesome street art, and we want to check it out, so we thought we'd take you along with us. Let's go. The title of this mural is The Closer to Dort, The More Beautiful It Gets, which is a play on the phrase, The Closer to Dordrecht, The More Rotten It Gets. That phrase is from hundreds of years ago when Dordrecht used to be the center of the shipping industry, and anyone who wanted to access the five rivers around the city would essentially be required to stop in Dordrecht and display their goods to gain passage, meaning it would take a really long time to pass through this area, and thus many of their goods would spoil. We've got a bird theme going on. The title of this work is the pheasant. Wait, why do we have a bird theme? The last one was a goat. Oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> why did I think that was a bird? This mural has no title and no explanation, so it's left up to you to interpret what it is. It's a beautiful bird. It's a beautiful pheasant. We love that every city here, no matter how big or small, has a weekly market, so let's go take a look at door trucks. We are in the very center of Dordrecht's Fresh Market, which takes place every Friday and Saturday. And one of our goals moving here is to do most of our weekly grocery shopping at this market. But y'all told us that we might be able to find jalapenos here. So let's go take a look around and see if we can find some to make some spicy guacamole. probably get like a couple, a few, a few. Yeah. yeah. Yay! That didn't take long at all. It didn't, but we were at the end of all of the fruits and vegetables, so it was kind of like our last place to get them. <laughs> we decided to take a little break from the bustle of the market and get a snack. We stopped by Hapok which is the snack shop that's closest to the market. It's basically in the market and got some frites with sweet chili sauce because we've had a few of you recommend this to us. And I mean, I don't know how it wouldn't be good, but let's give it a try. Tasty. Mm. It's delicious. It's everything you would imagine. I Vinegary. love sweet chili sauce. So I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this is market's going to be our, our market? Yeah, we found jalapenos there. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how it could be. We also found the Madame Jeanette, oh, the yeah. mall that everyone's been recommending that we find, that we try. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to have some of that in the house so we can actually use it whenever we want to spice up one of our meals. Yeah, it seems like it's a nice balance of stuff where you can just come here and get a snack and then things that you can take back with you to actually cook with. Yeah. It's quite nice. Yeah. I mean, this market really has everything. Yeah. It's got multiple fishmongers. Multiple cos... Uh, cos... handles? Is that right? <laughs> There's a bread stop. A bread bread stop. Bread stop. I mean. Our next stop is Broking Confectionery, where we got the hazelnut cream cake, which is their specialty. And this place has been in the Crispin neighborhood for over a hundred years. So it's definitely gonna be delicious, but we won't know how delicious it is for 30 minutes. Cause we have to wait, cause it's frozen. We're gonna go check out some of the monuments and eat this in 30 minutes. See you in a minute. It's 
28 minutes. <laughs> In the 1500s, Catholicism in the Netherlands was outlawed. However, over the coming centuries, there was more of a tolerance policy, and Catholic churches could be built again. However, they couldn't actually be like facing the street or visible. So this is the area where an old Catholic church used to be, but it was really run down, and they actually ended up demolishing it and built this one in its place. It's time. <laughs> so it looks like it's some sort of like sandy textured pastry with whipped cream and a little hazelnut on top. And a Reese's puff on top. Oh, 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 it is, it is cream filled. It collapses very easily. See? Oh yeah, look at that. This is a terrible You could bite. hide some in there. Yeah, you could. I mean, they did. I think I should say, before trying this. We don't like hazelnut. That, yeah, neither Alex nor I like hazelnut, so. But we're being open-minded. Open-minded. Oh my God, it is really sweet. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, it's definitely a strong hazelnut flavor in mostly the the crust of it and the crust is honestly kind of like a meringue it's got the texture of a meringue you know the it's crust? like kind of, yeah this part oh it's it's not a meringue but it's kind of like gritty crumbly, and gritty. crumbly and but like also a little airy mm -hmm. like a meringue i'm gonna eat the rest of this it's tasty you were hungry mm -hmm. i'm hungry so mm. yeah i can see why this is quite popular This is the old city gate. It was renovated in the 70s because up until then it was in pretty bad shape. And it's at the intersection of where three of the river, three of the five rivers meet. The Odemas, the Nord, and the Merved. I think that's right. I mean, I'm confident those are the rivers, but the pronunciation of the last is pretty bad. <laughs> What, all right, so Michelle has asked me to guess what she thinks that this, this next thing is. is. What, what's the name of it? Is it what's um, on the sign? It's what's on the sign, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, is it a boat repair thing? Like, does it like shore the boat so that you can start to work on it? Yes! Good work! Thank you. Yeah, so this used to be used to lift boats up out of the water so then they could fix them. And uh, it was completely towed away and refurbished in 2019. And look at it now! It's all shiny and they new. still use it no mm -mm. oh <laughs> no. no 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 it was just made to look good oh, oh in 2019 it. yeah they don't use it anymore oh kind of like my wife you know what i mean wait i was made to look good a few years ago and you don't use me anymore <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to perhaps the narrowest street in tortrecht okay wait so perhaps or it is perhaps I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. You found it. Isn't it, like, notable? Yeah, it's very notable. But it, there, there are, might be a smaller street? There are, like, there might be a more narrow area of other streets. But this is the narrowest street as a whole, I think. So, I don't know if this is true or not, but the reason why... Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I heard the reason why some of these alleyways are so narrow is because people used to like transport a lot of stuff on their backs like to and from the canal that would go out to the river and it allowed them to like easily like rest up against the building to like to take a break but I, I, don't, I don't know if that's true or not. It seems weird that they would build the buildings just for that. But... You got time to lean, you got time to clean. <laughs> 
Whoa. That's what I always say. Look at that huge spider web up there by the camera. Can you see that on camera? No, it's too far now. There's a camera up there and it's watching us. Don't do anything funny, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we are at dinner at Pet Magazine, but it's not just a dinner place. Pet Magazine is this concept store, so it's a restaurant on the lower level. And then if you go up the stairs, you'll see that there's a record store, a photography store, and also a really great place that refurbishes old bikes from the 70s and 80s and resells them. It's a pretty cool place and it's open almost all day long. It's open from like nine o'clock in the morning until 1 a.m. You want to transition? Um, so we're going to order some food and we'll show you what we got. There you go. Yeah. They have my beer. <laughs> Always so excited. I'm excited. It tastes good. I mean, it tastes amazing. Yeah. I got the fanciest looking Moscow meal ever. The food is here. It looks delicious. We got porchetta with parmesan, pesto, arugula, and maybe some pickled red onions. Oh, yeah. And some truffle mayonnaise fries. Yes. Is that right? All right. Let's just, let's just get a bite of this. It's very good, but it's like giving me like salad vibes just without any of the healthy aspects yeah, it's a, of it. It's a pork salad. It's a pork salad. I'm, and that's great. I love that. All right. Now I'm going to try the truffle, truffle fries. They're covered in cheese. Ooh. What kind of cheese do you think this is? Parmesan. Oh, was it on the list? I don't think it was. Yep. All right. Whoa. The first bite of anything truffle flavored for me is always so shocking. It's like the first bite of anything you eat that's like spicy. It's got that flavor of cheese that I don't like. Oh, no. Let's try to figure out what it is. What is it? I don't know. Truffle fries? They're yeah, okay. Bruschetta? Good. So how do you think our lives are going to change now that we've moved to door direct? I think we're going to be out and about a lot more. I was actually really impressed with the market today mm -hmm. and just walking around. I mean, there's just so much stuff to do and so many places just to chill past like a mil million restaurants today that I want to try. I think it's definitely going to be a different lifestyle, but it checks off a lot of the boxes of what we've really been looking almost for. Almost all of them. Yeah, almost all of them. Yeah. yeah Dordrecht really is a really, really beautiful city. I've been very impressed with it so far. Yeah. So please subscribe if you want to see more of our lives here in Dordrecht. Yes. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Do we?